What's shaking, guys? Saturday morning is finally, finally, finally here. Lulu and I are on our way to boot camp. I'm running behind this morning because I made the executive decision to sleep in. I'm about an hour and a half behind schedule. Oh well, that's just how it goes. Today is not going to be an eventful day, guys. I'm sorry now. <laughs> I got a lot of filming to do for 2020 20 Fit Band Bonanza. I've got some editing to do, and I still have to write 10 more workouts for that. Plus, I have another big project I'm working on. I need to spend some time on that. So it's going to be one of those days where I'm just going to get in, get my workout done, get my cardio in, and I'm just going to be hacking away at the computer. Super, super duper, duper boring. But it's part of the job. It's got to get done. So how did you do last night? Were you faced with some temptations? Did you just knock it out of the park? Did you stay home? Are you going to plan ahead? Take your snacks with you. If you got to run to the store, just take them with you. You see, if you take your snacks with you to the store, you don't end up buying stuff at the store because you've already got your snacks with you in the car or in your pocket or in your bag. So have a good day, guys. I'm sure your day is going to be a lot more eventful than mine. But we're more than halfway and we've done this good no sense in stopping now, right? Don't get all jacked up because it's Saturday. Don't get all messed up because tomorrow's Sunday. It's just another day, guys. We'll see you at the gym. We got a lot of cleaning to do. Oh my goodness, guys. I got no time to waste. I can't believe how much I slept in. I got a messy, messy, messy gym. So I got to get cracking on it. But I got Grismo fed. I got Lulu fed. I got Jim fed. Jim's out running around his ball chasing Grismo. It's kind of funny to watch. Man, I gotta get cracking. So, time to clean. to play on some obstacles mm. and hang out a little bit at Generation Fitness. Cool. So he's got his uh, OCR sure. training today. And so we heading over to go play a little bit. Yeah. See you when we get there.
Aw, oh, damn. There we go. That's not fair. First try. <laughs>what's up what's up what's up guys guess what time it is it is cardio time it's a saturday afternoon and i am gonna bust it out gonna bust it out on the treadmill today so here we go
Hey, what's cracking everybody? I just finished up my weight routine and I had a crazy good cardio day today. Maybe you're thinking that you're taking too long to do your weights because we've been at this for over 30 days and you're probably lifting maybe heavier weights than you were before. And there's also the chance that maybe you had a weight routine that you did and now that you're going a little bit heavier, you're maybe thinking it's taking a little bit more time. It's gonna take more time because you can't move heavy weight as fast as you can lightweight. If your workout or your weight training time is a little bit longer, that's good because if you're trying to hit the same reps but your weight's coming up, it's gonna take a little bit more time to get them reps slammed out with the heavier weight. Don't be alarmed, it's totally good. It just means that you're getting stronger. You're getting more fit. Your muscles are moving properly and that is exactly what we want. And it feels pretty darn good to be lifting heavier weights than maybe just 30 days ago to get fit. It just takes effort, it takes consistency and dedication and it takes a little bit of time. So I just wanted to let you know that if it seems like it's taking longer to get your weight training done, it is taking longer because you're lifting heavier weights. And that's a good thing. Just make the time to do it, guys. Make sure we've only got like 20 some odd more days left. Let's stick it out. If you are just thinking, man, it's just taking way too long to lift these weights, just make a little bit more time to lift heavy. Just do it because I promise that you will not regret it. Now I've noticed it's taken me quite a bit longer to do my weight training. The same workout that I did today, just now, when I just got done, when I first started this 30 some odd days ago, I got this all slammed out in about 40 minutes. Today, it took me an hour and five minutes because I lifted much, much heavier. I've doubled my weight on every single set and I'm super proud of that, but it is taking me a little bit more time because I'm going to hammer out all of my reps, all of my reps. So it's just taking me a little bit longer to get to my 15, 12, 10, 8, 8, 10, 12, 15. It's taken longer, but I've doubled up my weight and I'm okay with the fact that it's gonna take me a little bit longer because I'm pretty proud of that. Now, there's a time and a place for moving the weight fast. If I wanted to train differently, then I would keep the weight the same that I had when I started and I would just be moving quicker and I would get done a heck of a lot faster. But I'm not training for endurance right now. I'm not trying to train to move my muscles through a range of motion for a long period of time. Right now, I'm training to just try to pack on some muscle. So I have to lift the heavier weights. What I like to do after this type of a phase that I'm in right now with the endurance phase, and I'll take about six weeks to move the weight faster. I'll double my reps, but keep the weight light and move that weight super, super fast. But that's not where I'm at right now. So you've got to make the time and you need to be proud and you need to be happy that it's taking you maybe a little bit longer to hammer out your weight routine. And I got to be honest with you guys, if it's not taking you any longer, you're probably doing it a little bit quicker because you've become more fit. And if you're cranking out these workouts, the same rep scheme with the same weights and you're getting faster, yeah, that's a good thing. <coughs> Lulu's going crazy. That is a good thing, but we're trying to pack on muscle. And the way we pack on the muscle is to continue to stress our body with the heavy weight as we get more fit. And I know that you know that you're getting more fit. I know that you're saying, man, these, these 25s, they used to be hard five weeks ago. I could barely squeeze out my 15 reps with the 25s. Now it's no big deal. Bump them up to 35s. Seriously, bump them up. We want the last three reps to be next near to impossible. We want the last three reps to completely, totally suck. That's what we're looking for. The beautiful thing about fitness and the thing that I most love about fitness is it never, ever, ever gets old. It's always changing. If you do this right, it's constantly, constantly changing. There is 300 ways to run one workout. 
There is no way, no how, absolutely not, it is never going to happen that somebody on this blue planet is going to say, ha, I have done every single fitness routine on the planet. It's just not going to happen. That's the super cool thing about fitness. And that's one thing that I find super sad when I hear people come into the gym and they say, yeah, I've been going to the box gym for 10 years and I had my routine, but I'm just kind of stuck. I'm not seeing any difference. I would walk on the treadmill for 25 minutes and then I would go to the chest press machine and do 10 reps. And then I go do dumbbell curls for 10 reps. And then I would do uh, lunges for 10 reps on each leg. And they had like the same thing. They just went this same circuit over and over and over and they never challenged themselves. This is the awesome thing about fitness. If you take one workout and run it backwards, it's a completely different, totally workout. That's what's so cool. You can take one workout and all you gotta do is change the tempo, how fast you move the weights. You can take that same workout and you can simply do it for speed, as fast as you possibly can with lighter weights. You can take that same workout and you can bump the weights up. You can take that same workout and grab a Tabata timer and do it for time. You could do that same workout and do everything for a minute and just don't count your reps and try not to stop for the whole minute. I mean, seriously, I can go on and on and on. One workout can be 20 different workouts. So I want to encourage you guys to not get stuck in the same rut. There's a huge difference if you just simply change dumbbells to barbells. If you're doing dumbbell chest presses, that's awesome. Change it up a little bit. Grab a barbell and do barbell chest presses. That's gonna change everything. If you're doing chest presses on the bench, move the bench up or down. You're gonna work a different part of your chest. If you're doing chest presses on the bench, try to do chest presses on a yoga ball. That's gonna change everything up. It's really that simple. All we have to do is just change things up a little bit. If you're always doing front lunges, do reverse lunges, do side lunges. Change, just change it. The only way your body is gonna adapt is if you're constantly challenging it and messing around with some stuff. It honestly is as simple. And I did not believe this. When I was going to school to become a personal trainer, my teacher said, if you simply run a workout backwards, it's gonna change everything. And I said, I think that's stupid. I think that's kind of dumb. So I did an experiment. I took six weeks and I did the same exact workout five days a week for six weeks. Everything was exactly the same, everything. Now let me tell you, my body got used to it. It was no big deal after like three weeks. I didn't change the weight, I didn't change the reps, and I did not change the order that I programmed the whole workout in. Everything was exactly the same. After six weeks, I did the workout completely backwards. I didn't change the weight, I didn't change the rep counts, I didn't change the tempo, I kept everything the same, and I was stinking sore. And the reason why is because it was backwards. All you have to do is take your same old boring crappy routine that you're stuck in and change it. Do it backwards. Do half and half. Like I said, grab the Tabata timer. Do dumbbells instead of barbells. Do stability balls, yoga balls instead of benches. Change. Just change it. It's so good to change. A lot of people are afraid to change, but change is what keeps everything fresh and exciting and hey guys, new. Guys, it's up to you to make fitness fun. If fitness is not fun, you're in the wrong place. If you dread going to the gym, you're at the wrong gym. Now I get it, I know that people kinda don't like to go exercise and kick their own butts, but it's a necessity. But I'll tell you what, everybody that doesn't necessarily like it, they end up loving it by the time they leave the gym. So if your gym makes you not wanna go, you're at the wrong place. Maybe you don't like the gym. That's fine because we have gravity. Maybe you don't like to be cooped up inside of the gym. That's fine. Go outside. The whole entire world is your gym and you do not have to be in the gym to get a good workout in. I own a gym and I'm telling you, if you hate the gym, don't go. But make sure that you're doing something that keeps you fit. You can go for a run. You can go for a walk. And every time you see a tree that's got a branch hanging down, you could stop and do pull-ups. You could jump over fences. You could do burpees. How about this? Run a quarter mile or walk a quarter mile, do five burpees. 
Walk or run another quarter mile, do five squats. Walk or run another quarter mile, do five push-ups. Walk or run one more quarter mile and do five jumping jacks. You just change it up. Now that mile run that you just completely dreaded that was so boring because you've been doing it for three months, now it's different. You changed it up a little bit and it's gonna be more challenging for you and it's gonna be more fun because it's different and it's a change and it's good for the body to constantly be changing. Don't get stuck in the rut, guys. Train smart so we can train forever, but always be changing your routine. Always be changing what you do in the gym and do not ever get stuck in that rut. I will see you soon. Oh man, guys, so it's about 7.30 and I am heading home. Had a nice, good, solid, productive day. Boot camp was awesome. Went to Generation Fitness to uh, play around on some obstacles and uh, do some uh, spotting training. If you live in the Elk Grove area, look up Generation Fitness. If you're looking how to climb over walls, climb ropes, throw spears, it's a place that you're gonna wanna go to learn how to do all that stuff. Super, super fun. Did some filming, uh, wrote some workouts, worked on a project, that big old huge project that I just can't ever seem to finish. But I'll get it done. Don't worry, I'll get it done. Oh, it is Saturday and that means tomorrow. Oh, ho, ho, ho. don't you know tomorrow is rest day and I am so happy because I am stupid, stupid sore. But I don't mind, I like it. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling strong. I'm loving how I'm feeling. And it's all because I'm choosing to eat right and push my body past the limits. I hope you planned ahead. I hope you plan for it. I hope you don't find yourself in a situation where you're just gonna throw the past 30 some odd days out the door. I'm not saying one bad meal is gonna mess you up. I'm not saying, you know, cupcakes and maybe having a few drinks with your friends is just gonna throw the whole thing out the window. But what I am trying to say is that a lot of times we are our own worst enemy. And a lot of times if we do have that bad night of eating, maybe we don't get to the gym. Maybe we skipped our cardio today. You can't beat yourself up. It's gonna be harder to get back on track. So if you slip up today, if you slipped up yesterday, if you slip up tomorrow, get out of your head. Don't beat yourself up and just move on. But the best way to never have to start over is to just never quit. I'm signing off, guys. I'm almost home. We will see you soon. It looks like Lulu just saw a dog. She hates seeing dogs <laughs> in other cars. Anyway, I'm gonna go. See you guys tomorrow. Enjoy your rest day.